Welcome in to another week of The Blitz. Billy Byler here and Chris Gay right along with me. And a weird week of football this past Friday, especially in Aiken County. But before we get to that, Chris, I want to talk uh, on the Georgia side of things. We had a matchup of what some would consider a, a pretty big region meeting and maybe even a region championship game in Thompson ARC. Tell us a little bit about that game. Um, what you're seeing is uh, Luther Welsh's farewell tour continuing in the right direction. Uh, the wing tee's back. Uh, you know, they kind of went away from it last year and then they kind of got back into it. Now it's back in full force and now that Luther Welsh and probably uh, John Barnett are, are both going out this year, you know, they want to go out in style and they won a game they had to win if they're going to win this sub-region and I, I think things are lining up really good for uh, Thompson. So they are the front runners. Do they have it in the bag right now, that sub-region championship or region championship? Uh, I wouldn't say they have it in the bag yet. You know, they may still have a, another tough game or two, maybe with uh, Grovetown. But, yeah, they definitely, they've got the inroads for it. Well, over in Aiken County, it was uh, our game of the week was North Augusta Northwestern, and I got to say, I was at that game. Northwestern is probably the best high school football team I've ever seen, to be honest with you. Uh, they had no trouble uh, beating up on North Augusta, and it'll be interesting to see how the Yellow Jackets, who were our number one team in the area, uh, how they bounce back from that and go into region play this week. Uh, but also, Aiken lost their third in a row. Uh, South Aiken lost. Strom Thurmond lost. When's the last time all four of those teams have lost in one week? 1998. So it's been a long time uh, since we've seen that many teams lose in Aiken County. Uh, but the big winner from Aiken County last week was Midland Valley. They started off the uh, region, uh, region play with a game against Airport, and those two teams have always battled for the region title the last few years. And Midland Valley uh, took the big win on that one. So a lot of action uh, this past Friday night. You're watching the Blitz. You're watching the Blitz. You're watching the Blitz. You're watching the Blitz. All right, well, let's look ahead to this week's action now, and we bring Wayne in for our analysis, uh, looking ahead for this Friday. Wayne, uh, big game, another big game for Butler, who uh, they're still undefeated. Now they're number one in our power poll, but they have a tough test this week. Yeah, well, uh, pretty big one against Washington County. Butler pitched another shutout last Friday. It's never either doing that. But Washington County is going to be their toughest opponent this year. Coach Harden admitted that one. Uh, both, I talked to both coaches, they're pretty excited for this one. Uh, both teams are prepared for this one. Some injuries to worry about. I mean, if he has stepped on his right foot, but he should be fine. But uh, it should be interesting to see. It should be the biggest home game in there in a long time for Butler. Well, and everybody's jump on the bandwagon, obviously, and with good reason. It's a great story how Butler had the 41-game losing streak, and now they're undefeated. Um, but the, talk about their opponents uh, in the past, and, and, you know, those are good wins, obviously, because they're wins. But now compare that to Washington County. Is this kind of a are you a contender or are you a pretender kind of game? This definitely is. Uh, like I said, uh, Jeff Menefee, he's a great quote. <laughs> but uh, one of the things he said was, they're still being doubted by some people. And he said, if they win this, this will finally put to rest any questions people have on how legitimate Butler is. So we'll see how they do. And that's a great segue for where we are right now. We are at Fox Creek High School. And uh, they've got practice field here. Only the second year they've been at this uh, this facility in this campus here, but Fox Creek is very similar to Butler this week. Fox Creek has a great record, uh, but they have something to prove this week because uh, some people don't like their schedule. Fox Creek's schedule wasn't that strong this, this year. Well, this week they have Calhoun County, which is a region game, and Calhoun uh, is probably going to contend for a region title with Wilson Elko this year. So if Fox Creek can not just beat Calhoun County, but if they can just hang with them, I think they would prove a lot of doubters wrong as well. The sports staff of the Augusta Chronicle and WRDW News 12 are your competition. Beat their high school football predictions and you are in the running for a Beat the Pros t-shirt. Complete rules and ballot are in the Augusta Chronicle on Sunday or vote online at AugustaChronicle.com. Beat the Pros. Win a t-shirt. That's all we have for this week. See you next Thursday on The Blitz. You know about her. Is that your sister waving to me? Well, for the first time in three weeks, there's no bugs in this episode, which is good for me. That's all the time we have. See you next Thursday on The Blitz.